This is a short instructional video on using the Canon LIDE210 for gathering high resolution scans of spray deposition cards. To prepare your scanner, go ahead and divide it off into scan zones that are roughly the size of your cards. You can see here we've done this with uh, with white graphics tape. You don't you don't want to use colors because they can uh, affect the picture. Here you see we've taken some uh, some spray cards that are unfolded and they're loaded into the scanner. And a quick little tip for loading the scanner is once you put the cover down on it, put a book on top of it to press those cards down good and tight. The flatter they are on the platen, the more precise the scan. All right, we're going to start going through the setup of the software for the Canon LIDE210. And the software that we're using here is the uh, Canon MP Navigator version 4.0. Follow the instructions that come with the scanner and install the software before getting started with this tutorial. So you'll get that by clicking on your start menu, going to all programs, looking up Canon, Canon Utilities, and you'll find that. So clicking on that, we get to the MP Navigator screen that we see right here. It allows us to go the easy way, which we're not going to go, or the advanced way, which we're going to go. So we'll click on that, and that brings us the MP Navigator EX screen, which again we're going to avoid the auto scan option, we're, and we're going to go right to, we're going to click the box here and use the scanner driver. And so, because we are going to go a little more advanced. And so here we've got the scanner driver. And so we'll start by setting this up. You can see I've I've got a leftover uh, scan in here from earlier, for having already set up the cards to save us a little time in the setup. But uh, so at this point we don't have any fav favorite settings, so we'll we'll go through just all the uh, the settings that we need to do to make this work right in the first place. Setting source is platen, color mode color. Set your scale to millimeters. You have pixels, inches, or millimeters. Output resolution 4800 DPI. Let's not worry about, and we don't need to worry about the output size at this point. Uh, image adjustment, unsharp mass, descreen, reduced. It. Let's avoid those for the moment, and we're going to go right down to preferences, and we'll go over to color settings, and we're going to click on rather than the recommended color settings, we're going to go to none, which will tell us that it's going to turn off a lot of its adjustment functions, and that's what we want. We don't want the software making decisions to adjust our color. We want the straight color right from the uh, scanner. So we'll click over to the... So we don't need to worry about monitor gamma. Uh, so there we are. We'll click over to scan settings. And we en enable 48 and 16-bit output. All right, so we'll go to preview. And preview at start of scan gear. Dis Display save preview image, so that's the one that's pulled up from last time. Um, if you're using the scanner repeatedly for the same thing with the setup that we've already talked about, that's useful because then you don't need to go through and do a preview. The default is execute auto cropping on previewed images. We don't want that. We want to display the last frame on previewed images, and that will keep our scan areas. And this is not really important. Let's see. Over to the scanner overall. You can set where your temporary files are saved. Most people don't care about that. It'll play a little music. Um, or And you can, if you want to multitask and do something else while it's scanning, you can have it uh, set off an alarm when you get done. So actually that's kind of fun. So, okay, one of the things you always want to do with the Canon is it needs to be manually calibrated before you start. Um, especially if you've moved it, this is very, very important. So it only takes a second. We'll go ahead and do it right now. All right, the calibration is done now, and we'll go through and we will run a scanner test as well. This is diagnostics. We'll hit start, and again, it'll run itself a little test. At the end, it should say that everything's kosher. Okay, so it showed us that the diagnostics are good, so at this point we can hit close. Here we'll hit OK. All right, so now it's uh, reduced the number of image settings that we can do, but we are going to turn, we don't want it to do any modifications, so we're going to turn unsharp mask off. 
Um, again, we're not going to click any of these buttons because we don't want it to do any adjustments. And at this point, we'll go ahead and have it do a preview because that's what it would normally do. Because we wouldn't normally have that preview window. Doesn't take long. Okay, and there we are. So at this point, we can go ahead and start setting up our scan areas. Same as uh, this is the same procedure as with the Epson. All right. If you find yourself with this screen with the little, uh, this would be a thumbnail and the little one checked at the bottom, we've gotten into a mode that you don't want to be in. You're in the thumbnail view mode. So let's go ahead and unclick this button, and that gets us out of that mode. And that also allows us to go ahead and then create multiple scan areas. Okay, and so we'll do that now. 20 by 20. We're going we're gonna to make 2 centimeter or 20 millimeter square scan areas. There's one. And we'll keep doing these. And the scan areas scan sequentially. So you, you want to pay attention to what order you put them in because the order you put them in is the order you will get them out. And so we'll place them somewhat systematically across the across our samplers here so we sample different areas of each card. Alright, and we'll go ahead and finish filling these in and be back with you in just a second. Alright, so we've gone ahead and set all our scan areas here. One of the differences between the Epson and the Canon is the Canon scans in batches and so it will actually only allow at the resolution we're running it's only going to allow 12 total scan areas because uh, that's the maximum batch size in in megabytes that it, it'll allow so you see I've set the platen up to handle more cards but if you're scanning a front and back in this case we've taken a, a long card folded it in half and then um, put it into the canopy so on our left side are all of our tops you can see the labels from the cards as well. On the right side are the bottom sides of the collectors. So that's handy when you unfold it you can just lay it in the scanner together and get a top and a bottom in a pair and you know where you're at. Uh, so if you wanted to, to set your cards up differently you could go further on down and then uh, and, you know do one side or the other set up different scan areas. But So the way we're, uh, the way we're set up here we're only going to be able to scan six cards at a time. And so that is one of the limitations of the Canon. At this point, we're going to go ahead and we're going to save our profile. Uh, we'll just call this 4800 DPI. And we'll add it. OK. And we've saved that. And so now that'll save our scan areas and everything's good. So. We'll go through and review our preferences one more time here real quick. No, we have no adjustments on the color settings. Our scan will enable the, uh, the higher resolution scanning. The, uh, when we open, we'll, this image will display next time and we will save our last frames that we've just spent so much time putting together and this won't really matter until later. And so, yep, we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and hit scan. And now we've got a lot of time. So what's going to happen is this will scan as an entire batch. So at this point, you know, at about two minutes of scan, one and a half to two minutes per scan, you've got some time. And so once you've got the, uh, the first batch done, then you can go back and begin analyzing with ImageJ while the uh, scanner was scanning the next batch, but you'll have a little bit of a lag. And so we'll be back in a, in a few minutes once this is all done, and we'll pick up with where to go from here. All right, the scanning's gotten done now, so we've got, uh, our, we've got our next prompt up on the screen. So we've got to close this routine for now, but the, we've saved the settings, so it should be there when we get back. And we'll go ahead and hit 
exit here. So we see our 12 unsaved uh, scans. We'll hit save. We have to browse for the folder that we want to save them to, which will be this one. Okay. We can we can select a specific file name for the series. So in this case, we'll just call it Canon IMG, and then it'll concatenate a number at the end of each one of those. All right, we've got save as type. We've got JPEG, TIFF, and BMP. Of course, we never want to use JPEG. It's a lossy format, uh, so we lose data with that. TIFF and BMP are both uncompressed, and ImageJ prefers TIFF, so we'll stick with TIFF. And here we go. And we'll hit save. And so here it's now converted those. Open that location. All right, so we've uh, we've opened the folder, which is kind of a slow way to do it through this interface, but it shows that in fact the 12 pictures that we just took are in the folder. So we can just go ahead and hit close all, and we'll get back to oops, we need to get back to the main menu. So we'll go back, jump back to main menu, back to scan import, photos documents platen. Let's see, while we're here, we'll go ahead and select all and get rid of these because we're not going to work with these anymore. And they are saved. All right. So the housekeeping done. Open the scanner driver. And we're back to where we started. So we can load six more, in this case, six more folded cards or 12 individual cards and run the next batch. All of our, set all of our settings have stayed identical and so we're good to go. If for some reason you've turned the scanner off or left it for a week or any amount of time more than a couple of days you probably should go through the the uh, preferences routine and run a calibration one more time. It only takes a second and it's a good practice. So that concludes the use of the Canon LIDE 2010 scanner. And thank you for watching today, and good luck! Canon LIDE 210 is a registered trademark of Canon Inc. Epson V37 is a trademark of Epson USA. Any other products mentioned are trademarks of their respective companies. This video was produced by Application Insight LLC.